Hello, math learners. This video discusses evaluating limits using something called L'Hopital's rule. So as two motivating examples, I have x over e to the x, and we are evaluating this as x goes to infinity. We know that x going to infinity means that the numerator is going to grow without bound, and also our denominator is going to grow without bound. So what we're wondering, is this equal to just infinity over infinity? Actually, we can uh, crunch this number and it will be something finite. We will see how to do that in a minute with L'Hopital's rule. And then as another motivating example, we've got the limit as x goes to, goes to zero of sine x over x. We know that sine of zero is zero. So this second limit here has the form zero over zero. But again, what does this even mean? We can do a little bit better. We can figure out an actual number for both of these limits here. So this thing called L'Hopital's rule says that if we have two functions, f of x and g of x, and they're differentiable, meaning you can take a derivative with f of a equaling g of a equaling zero. So both of these functions equal zero at the point a and g prime of a does not equal zero. Then we can rewrite our limit. So we can look at the limit as x goes to a of f of x over g of x. And this is going to be the same thing as the limit as x goes to a of f prime of x over g prime of x. So we just evaluate f prime at a, and we also evaluate g prime at a. OK, so let's look at an example of this. Our example here, we will have the limit as x goes to 0. In our numerator, we have 2 e to the 2x minus 2. And then our denominator, we have 6x. So if we look at this example here, we can see that if we take the limit as x goes to 0 of 2e to the 2x minus 2, we get 2e to the 0 minus 2, or 2 minus 2, or 0. So our numerator equals 0. And then if we evaluate the limit for our denominator, we also get 0. So we can see that we have satisfied the conditions of our um, L'Hopital's rule here because f and g both are equaling zero. So what we're going to do is instead of evaluating this limit here, we're going to look at the limit as x goes to zero. We'll take the derivative of the top and then the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of 2e to the 2x is 4e to the 2x. And then the derivative of 6x is just 6. So now when we plug in 0, we get 4e to the 0 divided by 6, or in other words, 2 thirds. OK, so that is an example where we just applied L'Hopital's rule. OK, so I said that we can use this for the form 0 over 0, but we can actually use this a little bit more generally. We can also use this for if we have infinity over infinity, like we had in this first example up here. So if we have a limit that looks like infinity over infinity, we can take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So let's look at this example here. We've got the limit as x goes to negative infinity. 
Then we have 10x plus e to the x divided by 5x. OK, so as x goes to negative infinity, we see that um, we have If we evaluate the numerator, we get something like negative infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, then the denominator is also going to go to negative infinity. So we have a form that looks like negative infinity over negative infinity. So let's go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. We go ahead and take the limit as x goes to negative infinity of Let's take the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of the numerator is 10 plus e to the x. And then the derivative of the denominator is 5. So the limit as x goes to negative infinity of e to the x. If we think about what e to the x looks like. When we go off in this direction, further and further going towards negative infinity, we see that e to the x goes to zero. So this limit is equal to 10 plus zero divided by five, or in other words, this limit goes to two. All right, next example, we're going to see that this actually works for both um, zero over zero or infinity over infinity, or if we have zero times infinity. So if we have any of those settings, then we can go ahead and take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So we can rewrite our limit as the limit as x goes to a of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. OK, so let's do some examples. Let's look at the limit as x goes to 0 of e to the x minus 1 divided by x. If we evaluate just the numerator, we get e to the 0 minus 1, so 1 minus 1 or 0. And if we evaluate just the denominator, then we get 0. So we can see that we have this setup of 0 divided by 0. So we can go ahead and take the derivative of the top and the bottom, and then take our limit. So derivative of e to the x minus 1 is e to the x, and then the derivative of x is 1. So we can see that this has simplified our um, limit quite a bit because now this is just equal to e to the 0, or in other words, 1. Okay, another example, let's look at the limit as x goes to infinity. We've got e to the x divided by x. So this one we can see has the form infinity over infinity. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule and rewrite this as the limit as x goes to infinity of, take the derivative of the numerator, that gives us e to the x, take the derivative of the denominator, and that gives us 1. And so we end up just with the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x. So this is going to go off and diverge because it grows without bound. OK, so so far we've seen this first one has the form 0 over 0. Uh, e to the x over x that had the form infinity over infinity. Now let's look at one that has the form zero times infinity. So in this one, we've got the limit as x goes to infinity 
and then we have x e to the negative x. So this one we can see has the form infinity times zero because the limit as x goes to infinity, we know that x is going to go off to infinity and then e to the negative x as x goes to infinity, this will go to zero. So we have the form infinity times zero. So we're going to rewrite this as x divided by e to the x. So now this has form infinity over infinity. And so we can go ahead and um, take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So the derivative of our numerator is 1, and the derivative of our denominator is e to the x. And now we can see that this will go to 0 again, because if we think about rewriting 1 over e to the x as e to the negative x, So here's e to the negative x. As x goes off to infinity, then e to the negative x decreases and it has a limit of 0. OK, so let's think about now why this makes sense. So in particular, let's look at the limit as x goes to infinity of x over e to the x. In other words, we'll look at the one that we just did. So both of these grow without bound. If we plot out x, this grows without bound as x goes off to infinity. And then if we look at e to the x, this is also growing without bound, but it's growing much faster. So e to the x grows faster than x. So we say that e to the x dominates x. And actually, it's going to dominate x squared, x cubed, and so on. So if we look at the limit as x goes to infinity of x to the some huge number divided by e to the x, we can keep on applying L'Hopital's rule over and over. And we will find that this is eventually going to be um, converging down to 0. So um, maybe we'll look at one more, this one with a little bit less extreme of a number. Let's look at x squared over e to the x, because we said that e to the x dominates x squared as well. Let's apply L'Hopital's rule because this has the form infinity over infinity. So we'll take the derivative of the numerator. That gives us 2x. And then the derivative of the denominator is e to the x. And now this is still infinity over infinity. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. So we'll take the derivative of 2x, that gives us 2, then take the de not, uh, derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. And now we can see that since e to the x is going to grow without bound, then 2 divided by e to the x will decrease to 0. All right, so that's our L'Hopital's rule. Remember, we can apply it when we have um, a form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. If we have the form 0 times infinity, what we need to do is rewrite it so that it either looks like infinity over infinity or it looks like 0 over 0.